Dr. Gray Cantor here with Cantor Dental Group in San Rafael, California. Um, today I want to talk about whether or not you should get your silver fillings, amalgam fillings, removed. Uh, this is a, a question I get all the time. People don't like the look of them. Uh, they uh, are worried about the mercury intake. Um, so I, I'll give you my opinion on, on the subject. One is that silver fillings are a very good filling material. They last a long time. Uh, they have very low rates of recurrent decay. But they do look bad, right? They're silver. They're, uh, you know, when you laugh or open your mouth, you might see, you might see the, uh, uh, the silver fillings in your smile. So that's one reason to, to, to get, change them out. If it's something that you just you see in pictures, you really don't like it, aesthetically, it may be the right choice for you. As far as the mercury is concerned, um, it's my opinion it's a very low rate of mercury, very little mercury. Uh, compounding effects, such as say you have a lot of tuna and a lot of silver fillings, maybe that worries you and, and you want to take it out. Uh, but let's go over uh, the mercury in silver fillings and why that's it's just not that big of a deal. In that, if the mercury in tuna is connected to something like this, like an organic molecule. So if you look here, you have these organic compounds surrounding the Hg with Hg being the mercury. So the, the, uh, this molecule from tuna, this is one of the many that uh, comes from tuna, it, it, it's easily absorbed because our body attaches to these organic molecules very readily. So then you absorb the mercury with it. With silver fillings, the elemental mercury, it's just the mercury by itself, right? It, it, it's, it's all by itself and our body does not absorb it at all. It's very, very little. So you're getting almost no exposure to mercury from a silver filling. It just comes out in your excretion. For that reason, I don't think it's, it's a huge intake of mercury as compared to having a lot of fish, uh, large fish like tuna. Uh, if you don't like the aesthetics or are worried about the stacking effects of having a lot of tuna and silver fillings and other fishes and want to reduce your mercury intake, um, those are kind of the two main reasons to get them replaced. If you don't worry, if you're not worried about the aesthetics and you don't eat that much fish, um, you know, it's a great filling material and can last you a long time. Here at Cantor Dental Group, we do not place silver fillings. However, we do use dual suction and, um, and we have a, a mercury amalgam separator in our uh, vacuum unit to make sure that we keep it separated from the environment as well as separated from your, uh, your intestines when we take it out. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to come into our office. We're Cantor Dental Group in San Rafael, San Rafael California. Uh, please subscribe.